you know, I see this as a real success that you can have two weeks, uh, you know, massively oversubscribed course in an area of marine bioinformatics. There's a real need in the community, in bioinformatics in general, but I think also now in the marine community. Um, the students are extremely high caliber because you don't know before you come in and give a talk where you should pitch things. But I was lucky to come a bit early. I've seen a couple of the talks and their knowledge when they come in is quite extraordinary. And yet you can tell they're learning a lot from all the speakers here. At the Jacobs University, which has, I would say, rather good facilities for uh, be having these over no, 30 people on, on campus, where they have the possibility even to sleep and stay here, have all their meals here, and so really work as a group over the whole two weeks. Key thing to having a successful teaching experience, well, there's two key things. One is to have teachers that have a clue, and the other is to have students who have an interest. And it looks like both those conditions are being met here. Uh, the instructors are knowledgeable folks uh, with regard to the software that's being uh, dealt with. The um, environment is nice. Um, uh, nice setup, um, workstations for everybody, uh, that's good. The lecture room uh, is large enough relative to the number of students that we're not just all wedged in sort of thing like that. Uh, that's good, so I think this is uh, um, a good workshop. So we'd like students to get their hands wet and to realize that they can learn some basics and they could apply them in a greater way. Uh, and then also for them to really see data. The task force was able to come here after we scheduled the course. And so it, it shows that the people who are uh, helping access the funds for research understand some of the problems that we have. And we'd really like to uh, show them that you know, we don't have everything we need to do the best science possible. They're fantastic labs across the world, but it's great for the U.S. students to see that there's this diversity across Europe. Um, and again, for the Europeans to have access to some of these very large centers that are in the U.S., it's a fabulous combination. European but also overseas interaction between the participants really build a network with the speakers, with the tutors, with each other, so they act like a cohort maybe in the, in the future. Um, they see what the tools can do, they feel the power of bioinformatics, but definitely it's like learning to drive a car, after you have a driving license, you cannot drive the car, you need the experience, you need to, to, to work with this system. You know, we feel like we're a long way into the genomics revolution, but in many ways it's absolutely just starting and these, you know, these students can think of projects and experiments that we couldn't have thought of ten years ago, that they have the tools and the, the, sort of the computing infrastructure now to really think broadly. I think it's just starting. It looks like the participants come from a wide range of backgrounds. I've only spoken to a few of them so far, but I really hope to, to meet uh, hopefully everyone uh, during the course of the next few days. Uh, but it is exciting to see so many people from so many different universities here um, talking to one another. And I always like when you have different backgrounds coming together because then uh, they really complement each other. definitely an intense course, but it's a good intensity. You're definitely pushed to your max in terms of your ability to take in information, but all the professors and speakers are very open to clarifying and dealing with problems as they come up. So there's never really like you're on your own, and there's always someone that can help you, which is really, really great. It's, it's a very friendly environment to, to do that. It's really great, really interesting people, interesting talks. It's like one of the best workshops I've ever been. The world we're heading into is just this stunning avalanche of sequence data, which no human being on Earth, I don't care how smart they are, can look at piles and piles and piles of A's, T's, C's and G's and do anything with them without a computer. I think the time was just perfect um, to get this done here now, because at least for these 30 participants, we could give them a kickstart and they learn about databases, tools, technologies, and this week about specific tools they can use in their daily work. And even if they just get an impression how it works, they can dig now deeper and understand how to deal with it.